I'm Darren with Action Esports, and this is Action Recap, the show where we highlight various stories ongoing within the esports community. The Shanghai Dragons have announced the release of their controversial DPS player, Chow Undead Fang, from their Overwatch League roster. While it is uncertain when the Dragons filed the paperwork for the removal of Undead, the team announced earlier tonight that the Overwatch League office had approved the removal of Undead from their lineup. No reason for the roster change was officially provided, but Overwatch fans have already begun speculating that this decision was influenced by the controversy that erupted as details of his personal life surfaced midway through Stage 2. According to detailed accounts by his ex-girlfriends, Undead is accused of unfaithfulness, emotional manipulation, involvement in multiple pregnancies and abortions, as well as being a negligent father among other serious allegations. Once details of these accounts began to make their way to the West after initially being posted on Weibo, it was announced towards the end of Stage 2 Undead would be returning to China where he would ultimately remain in the wake of this controversy. With his absence, in addition to that of one of their best players, Lu Dia Weida, the Shanghai Dragons went into a state of emergency and had to implement a series of role swaps to play out the rest of their games the remainder of the stage, but were still unable to pull off a win to break their series of defeats. Qualifying for the Season 1 playoffs may appear to be out of reach, but the Shanghai Dragons are not about to give up just yet. The organization has hopes that their recent changes in coaching staff, along with the additions of Geguri, Ado, Sky, and Fearless, who once fully integrated onto the team, will turn around their poor record come Stage 3. Speaking of Geguri, she has not received the warmest of welcomes from the Overwatch community. Looking at social media, Geguri has been called out for looking like a boy, having short hair, and having her abilities questioned before being even able to play a single game among other negative comments from members of the community. As someone who is familiar with being in the spotlight and having gone through a major controversy in the past in which she was accused of cheating in an online tournament and sent various threats, Geguri opened up to the community in a recent tweet about how she feels about the comments she has been receiving about her appearance. Quote, when I get stressed, I start binge eating so I get fat. I'm sorry for being ugly. In stage 3, I'll work hard to show a good side of myself, if only in the game. Yesterday, she followed up with another post stating, I'm getting so fat, you can call me Toad now. For those who aren't aware, her gamer tag Geguri means frog in Korean, which is also why her display picture on Twitch happens to be a version of Zarya reimagined with frog-like features. So from her statement, you can get a pretty good idea of what her mindset is right now. From her recent interview with ESPN and previous statements, she expressed how she is grateful for being looked up to as an icon as a female in the esports industry, but mentioned that it isn't something that is actively on on her mind and not what she wants to be known as. Facing both external and internal pressure to not only carry the burden of responsibility whether she likes it or not as the first woman in the Overwatch League and the expectations that she and the other new additions can start bringing in the wins for the Shanghai Dragons, Geguri is determined to face these challenges head on. Now, on a lighter topic, if you haven't given them a watch, the Overwatch League's Chinese host, Xi Xiaotu, or Tutu for short, has been running these adorable segments with various players in the Overwatch League, where she exposes them to Chinese cuisine and helps to not only allow the community to get to know the players better, but also help bridge the gap with their Eastern fan base. Dishes tried in the latest episode range from Mapo Tofu to more adventurous dishes for a western palate such as steamed pork knuckle. I'll leave a link to the video in the description box below, but here's a small clip. Lastly, Overwatch's Uprising event will be making a return this year on April 10th, according to a tweet from the official Overwatch account. The teaser posted on Twitter is similar to that of last year's, with the exception of one brief flash on the screen changing the display from last year's Mission Archive description to a classified bit from 8 years ago, labeled as File 00274. For context, last year's King's Row event took the players through Tracer's first Overwatch mission alongside Reinhardt, Torbjorn, and Mercy during an Omnic insurrection in London 7 years ago prior to the current Overwatch timeline. In the background, fans have also noticed the appearance of a Blackwatch logo, so we could 
could be given a mission where we play as the secret Black Ops unit of Overwatch. Other than that, we don't have much to go on, but there will likely be another playable co-op brawl, the return of old cosmetics during the event, and probably once again, over 100 new items to unlock. And with that, that's all for this installment of Action Recap. If you enjoy our content, then be sure to check out some of our other videos. And if you want the best way to stay up to date on all of our releases, be sure to hit that bell and stay updated. And be sure to follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on all of our latest releases. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and this has been Darren from Action Esports, and we'll see you in the next one.